Hi everybody and welcome to Taste Test with Mike. It is raining. It's been raining all day. It started uh, last night um, and it doesn't seem like it's going to quit. Uh, today is Sunday, by the way, when I'm making this video. I don't know which day it'll come out, but um, I'm just kind of bored, you know, so I thought I would do a taste test. I'm getting a little hungry for something for lunch. And uh, I got this Campbell's SpaghettiOs with chicken meatballs. And I got this at Dollar Tree. It's been a while back, but I got it at Dollar Tree. And, you know, I meant to try it a long time ago, but I just hadn't uh, ever got around to it. So I thought I would today. Um, it says pasta with chicken meatballs and tomato sauce. It's got this back here uh, about kids. Healthy kids entree. Meats claim per one cup. It says zero trans fat per one cup and 12 grams of protein per one cup and 20% of daily vegetables in one cup. Um, so let's go over the nutrition facts. Uh, they've got nutrition facts for the whole can, um, but they've also got them for one cup. Um, I'm probably going to just eat half of this, but I think y'all would probably like to know the... Um, wait a minute. I think y'all would probably like to know what the whole can is. Uh, if you don't eat the whole can, you know it's going to be, you know, if you only eat half, it's going to be half as much uh, of the nutrition facts. So I'm just going to go for the whole can. Um, total fat is 13%. Not bad for that much. 20% uh, saturated fat. Um, you know, that's kind of, not real, real bad, but you know, it's, it's a little high. Um, but a lot of people might not eat the whole thing. In, in only one cup, it's half as much, 10%. Um, uh, it's got, the next measurable thing is cholesterol, and it's 15%. Uh, calcium, 10%. Iron, 20%. Potassium, 10%. Seems like you've got it fortified. Um, sodium, 46%. Mm, you know, that's that's kind of high if you eat the whole can. It's 26% if you eat one cup. Um, so this is not something I would eat. You know, I've never, I, I can't remember the last time I even had any SpaghettiOs. But this is something I, I thought would be worth trying, you know, because it's going to be not as bad as the one with the regular meat. But anyway, so, you know, I wouldn't eat it every day with all that sodium. Uh, uh, total carbs 19% that's 52 grams 11% for one cup uh, fiber 4 grams 14% total sugars 14 grams and uh, 9 grams added sugar is 18% so that's not terrible protein is really uh, good 21 grams at 30% and it's got 30% of thiamine, 15% of riboflavin, and 25% of niacin. Now, this isn't a can of kitty foods. Uh, niacin and 45% of folate. I'm going to get this stuff. I'm going to microwave this and get it ready in just a minute. And we'll try it. All right, everybody. Here it is. You can see the meatballs. Spaghettios. I'm gonna try one bite with each. I don't know how hot it is. It seems pretty hot. Actually, not too bad. Um, the there's there's not as much flavor in these as there is their regular ones, but they're so much more healthier than the than the regular version, the regular meatballs. Mm -hmm. 
try just some of the SpaghettiOs. Tastes like, you know, regular, just regular SpaghettiOs. They lack flavor. They're like a mystery, mystery, I hate to say mystery meat, but, you know, you know it's chicken, but it's just, um, Bland. I mean, you know, it is chicken, is what it says. Um, but it is. It's. It's kind of. It's just bland. If you. Uh, if you take a bite, you know, a meatball with some of the spaghettios, it gives it a little more flavor for a second. But, you know, it, it's really. It's better that way, although hmm. um, you know, there's no denying that it's, that it's bland. The, the, the meatballs. Okay. Um, I like regular SpaghettiOs pretty good, but they're really not the best tasting thing in the world either. They're just really convenient. And I, I ate uh, stuff like that when I was, you know, 12 years old to, through my teens, probably, uh, different types of, you know, pastas. Um, seemed like back then they had more flavor to them, but they didn't have anything like this. I mean, with the chicken. Um, it's just, you just know it's meat, that it's chicken, and you can't really say, I can't really say it tastes like anything much, the, the meatball. Like I said, it, for a bit, when you take a bite with some of the SpaghettiOs and the meatball on the same bite, the sauce gives it a little bit of flavor at first, but then you're still chewing up the meatball, you know, and it you can tell. Um kids might you know i don't i don't know if they would be they may pick the spaghettios out and leave the meatballs is you know uh, or they may eat them you know but they're they're not going to be excited about the flavor of them either uh, i'm not it's just it, they're they've got them fortified to where they're kind of good for you but still overall you know it's not something i would eat every day or even three or four times a week um, nutrition facts I'm I threw the can away but um, there was a couple of things that sodium being really high for the whole can um, I'm gonna get it give it a three and a half for nutrition facts and if it weren't for the SpaghettiOs, I mean, they taste good still, pretty good. You know, the SpaghettiOs aren't gourmet, of course. But, I mean, um, that's the one saving thing about it is it's got the decent, pretty decent tasting SpaghettiOs in it. I'm going to give it a uh, 3.75, <laughs> a little over 3.5 uh, for taste. It's not... Amazing uh, if you're really hungry and you want something quick This would be okay, you know, but it would be a little better for you than the one with the regular meatballs um, I'd say it'd be a toss-up whether kids would really like them or not, you know uh, If it was me, I might have eaten something at that age, you know when I was talking about maybe 12 or something um if I was really hungry, I probably would have gone ahead and eaten the meatballs, but if I wasn't super hungry, I probably would have left quite a bit of them and eaten the SpaghettiOs. So that's just what, the way I figure it would have gone. So anyway, uh, 
I hope you enjoyed this taste test with Mike. I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. I, like I said, I have lots of stuff, not tons, but, you know, I got quite a few more that I bought to try and I never have. I've got all different kinds of like noodles, uh, ramen noodles and stuff. Some of them are better than others. You know, I mean, as far as when I looked at the nutrition facts, um, you gotta watch the sodium in those as well. Um, and just different things. I've got some other canned things too, but I'll, I'll get around to them. Maybe if we have more rainy days, uh, where I can't get outside and do anything, maybe I'll do some of them during that time. So I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, taste test with Mike. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day and we'll see you later on. God bless.